Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and it's a new release week for Blu-ray and 4K, so here's everything coming out for September 8th, 2020. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, a new week for Blu-ray and 4K releases is upon us. Uh, things have slowed down a little bit the last couple months due to COVID, but things are ramping back up again this month, uh, the second week of September. Let's talk about what's coming out on September 8th, 2020, and the big release this week is going to be from Universal Pictures. That is the Alfred Hitchcock Collection in 4K. It's going to include four films from their library. That will be Psycho, The Birds, Vertigo, and Rear Window. So this will be available at your local retailers and online. No exclusives to speak of for this one, so feel free to pick up this particular version if you're a fan of the director. And Psycho is coming out as an individual release from the set, and that will be available at Best Buy as an exclusive 4K steelbook. No other regular editions for this one or any of the other titles are coming out individually. So if you just want Psycho, you'll have to pick this one up at Best Buy in steelbook form. Also coming out this week is going to be from the DC Animated Library. That is Superman, Man of Tomorrow is coming to Blu-ray and 4K. There's going to be a slipcover edition for both versions of the movie available locally and online, as well as a Target Blu-ray Steelbook version, which will be available in their stores, as well as a Best Buy exclusive 4K, with, uh, including the figure uh, from the movie. So that'll be available at Best Buy store. So whichever version you're going to be getting, let me know in the comments section below, but those are your choices. Also coming out tomorrow is the classic anime film Ghost in the Shell is getting a 4K release and that will be getting a standard slipcover edition, once again available locally and online, as well as a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. That one, uh, I'm going to be opting for the steelbook version of that one, but uh, both versions are uh, have really nice artwork, so definitely check that out if you're a fan of the film. There's a couple steelbooks coming from Universal Pictures this week. 47 Ronin starring Keanu Reeves is coming out this week and that Best Buy Steelbook will be available in stores tomorrow. Also from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, The Incredible Hulk is getting a Steelbook. So if you're a Steelbook collector and you have the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe in Steelbook form, you will now be able to complete that collection uh, with a Steelbook from The Incredible Hulk, which previously only had a slipcover. So that's pretty exciting for us collectors. Let me know if you plan on picking that one up is coming out tomorrow from Universal Pictures is The Invisible Man from 2020. So the release that just came out a few months ago is getting a Steelbook edition that will be available in stores at Best Buy. Uh, I think I prefer the slipcover edition for this particular one, but let me know if you plan on picking up the Steelbook. Speaking of Steelbooks, Target has the Rob Zombie collection in Steelbook form in stores tomorrow, and that is going to include House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, and Three from Hell. So those will be in Steelbook form, available in one collection. That will be available in, on Blu-ray in Target stores locally and online, so check that out if you're a fan of those movies. Uh, a couple of uh, regular titles coming out this week is The Big Ugly from 2020 and Lionsgate Films. That is stars Vinnie Jones is coming to stores tomorrow. So Best Buy, Walmart are your best bet, but you can also pick that one up online. If you are checking out this film, let me know in the comments below. First Cow from Lionsgate is also getting released tomorrow. Don't know too much about this one, but from the description, it sounded interesting, but uh, I, I might check this one out, but let me know if you plan on picking this one up yourself. The History of the Kelly Gang from Shout Factory, starring Russell Crowe, is getting a release tomorrow. Shout Factory titles sometimes show up at Best Buys, uh, but Walmart would be your best bet if you want to check that out locally. And uh, online, of course, we'll have this one in stock. Bad Education from WB, starring Hugh Jackman and Allison Janney, is getting a release tomorrow. Uh, that one should be available locally. I would say Best Buy should have it. Uh, Walmart and then, of course, Amazon is your, your other option. Kentucky Colonels, also coming from WB, and this is the WB Archive Collection, will be getting a release. This one, like most of those, uh, are going to be probably online only, so check that one out if you're interested. Graveyards of Horror from Arrow Video, two movie collection is coming out. Uh, with Arrow Video, sometimes will show up at a local Barnes & Noble, 
Um, but your best bet would be to pick this one either from the Arrow website or from Amazon.com. Also coming out this week from Arrow Video, this was supposed to come out a few weeks ago, but I guess it got delayed, is the comic. Uh, limited edition version is available on Arrow's website and also available online at Amazon. And once again, Barnes & Noble's may or may not have that in stock. Your uh, particular store may vary. Uh, Retaliation starring Orlando Bloom is getting released from Lionsgate. Uh, 2017 uh, action film, so that's coming to stores. Uh, maybe Best Buy might have that one, but Walmart might be your best bet locally for that one as well. Warner Brothers is also releasing a couple of collection sets uh, focusing on the various decades uh, that are coming to stores and online. Now this is, each set is going to include 10 movies. I'm not gonna list every single movie here, but you can definitely look online to check out if this particular uh, collection interests you. But I'll just read off a couple of the titles that are in part of these various sets. Uh, the Best of the 70s, Volume 1 is coming out. Uh, movies like Dog Day Afternoon, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and Richard Donner's original Superman are included in the set and seven other titles. The Best of the 80s Volume 1 is also coming out. That's going to include The Shining, Caddyshack, Blade Runner, Lost Boys. That is part of Volume uh, 1 set. Once again, you can check the full list online for that. The Best of the 80s Volume 2 is also coming. Poltergeist, The NeverEnding Story, and Tim Burton's Batman are included in that particular set. The Best of the 90s Volume 1, which features movies such as Goodfellas, Shawshank Redemption, and The Matrix are also coming. And the Best of the 2000s Volume 1, The Hangover, Million Dollar Baby, and The Blind Side are part of that set. So once again, if you want to check a complete listing, Blu-ray.com or other online retailers that have the movies in stock should be able to help you with that. And of course, a couple of things from Kino Lorber are also being released on Blu-ray tomorrow. And with most Kino Lorber stuff, you'd be able to buy this one on Amazon, which is your best bet to acquire these titles. Uh, a couple things from the Doctor Who collection from uh, the 1960s uh, with Peter Cushing. Daleks Invasion Earth 2160 AD is getting a release tomorrow, as well as Doctor Who and the Daleks from 1965 is also coming to Blu-ray. So check that out if you're fans of uh, Doctor Who. Also, The Grey Fox from 1982 starring Richard Farnsworth is getting a release. And finally, the Cary Grant collection, a three movie set from Kino Lorber, including Wedding Present, Ladies Should Listen, and Big Brown Eyes is coming tomorrow from uh, if you're interested in the Cary Grant collection. Uh, a couple TV things to talk about. Supergirl Season 5 is getting released tomorrow. And that's, of course, from the CW. Prodigal Son Season 1 is coming out tomorrow as well. I haven't checked that one out, but let me know if you plan to uh, pick that one up. Uh, the Secure Quest, the complete series from Funimation, is also getting released tomorrow. Now, that one I would expect probably online is your best bet to buy that one. Now, finally, the Criterion Collection is releasing a few things from their library. The Naked City, a noir film from 1948, is coming out tomorrow. Now, that one may be in stores at Barnes & Noble and online, of course, at Amazon or Criterion's own website. And Brute Force from 1947, starring Burt Lancaster, is also coming out from Criterion tomorrow. So that is everything that is coming out on Blu-ray and 4K for September 8th. Let me know in the comments below what you plan on picking up. I plan on picking up the Alfred Hitchcock collection, a couple of the Steelbooks from Universal, uh, Superman Man of Tomorrow, the, the uh, 4K edition. But uh, yeah, I'm very interested this week. And of course, there's a couple things coming out next week as well. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.